All right. Now is it set? Get, I think so. He's going to make sure it's. Oh, it's sorry. Nice one of the go. fillies is getting. Oh, no, he's okay. He's okay. Yeah, he's fine. All right. Let him go. It's set. Stable boy. Does that look good to you? I think so. All right. It's okay to me. Let's, Let's go, go sit back. down. Yeah, I think so. Same as it always is, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Woo! Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome all. Yet another night of the night shift. That's us, uh, welcome to the night shift. Parentheses, someone's gotta watch them. Someone's gotta watch them. Close parentheses. I am Ezra. I'm Buttercup. And this is our little show. It's, I don't, you know I don't appreciate when you call it little. It's our big show. Well. Our medium. It's our medium show. Perfect. Open me up, Shall Ezra. Shall I do the honors, Buttercup? Open your right up. Christmas. Ezra, I gotta say. Ooh, let's hear it. My left hip is just kicking like a filly with a cold. Really? Which is not what you want to be. Kicking now, me. The other night. Left and right. There we go. Perfect. Got stuck yeah. in there, That's man. That's okay. It always does. Yeah. Now, last time we were here, you said that your right hip was giving you some business. What did I say a minute ago? Left. So now I'm worried. That is a little something you else. You ever heard happened. of a little thing called yin and yang? No. What is that? Means everything's got an opposite. Totally. So if one week your left hip is hurting, next week your right one's gonna hurt. That's right. And if it don't, you're not in tune with nature. No, that's right. You gotta be in tune with nature, which is your body. Bodies are nature. Man, about a nickel. I'm sorry. If, yeah, you'd be rich. We'd be out of here. I'll tell you that much. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't want to be out of here. I'd do enjoy. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Watching the horses. That's right. With you, my man. Oh, with you, my woman. <laughs> you can call me a man. We all know. Well, Buttercup's technically a woman, but yeah, but is she? Exactly. That's for us. That's for you, the viewers. That's how I get the Phillies. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. question it. They say, mm -hmm. "Ooh." They say, "Ooh." Huh? Yeah. But, I don't know what, what she's. And you're talking about people from Philadelphia. Of course. Yeah. Oh, we get a lot uh, of tourists. If you're, if you're just tuning in here, sorry. I can't imagine you are. I imagine whoever's watching is a big old fan seeing every episode. Yeah. But yeah, you just having me tuning in, which is crazy. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell them uh, what they so we know. we are here mm. in the plains of New Mexico. Yes, and we are watching the horses. It's our job to make sure they are here. Our job. They used to have dogs do it. That didn't work out. Horses got eaten by dogs. <laughs> they got the wrong kind Which of dog. Which is kind of funny if you think about it. It's stupid. It's stupid. Cause how can a dog eat a whole horse? I'll tell you. Check into our early episodes where it's just dogs Honestly, hosting the show. I think some of those got taken down from YouTube. I think so. Because all it was, man, oh man, you okay? They were so stupid. They were so stupid. And you know who decided that? You know who made that decision was Roger. Really? Roger said that. Roger. That he said, here's my idea, here's my pitch. I want dogs to host well, a show. Well, here's the problem. You know, Roger's daddy had died the week before, and no one was oh, regulating right. his, his pitches. Yeah. And he just decided to do whatever he wanted you to. you got to regulate your pitches. Yeah. That's what we've learned in the business. Exactly. Of doing a show. <laughs> well... And watching horses. And doing the horses. Dear stuff. God, Ezra. We've been we've been doing this show for a couple years now, but we've been watching horses for uh, I don't as know. As long as I can remember, Daddy used to take me out back and watch the horses all the time. Daddy used to take me out back, my daddy, not your daddy. Well, although I did come a play day, I did come over to hang out, and your daddy would take me in the back to watch the horses as well. Rest in peace. Thank you. Um, well, so. Not you, Ezra. Huh? Your daddy. Oh yeah. Rest in peace, my daddy. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent. Jesus. Yeah, well, look, we had our problems, me and him, but that's okay. He's in a better place now. Under the earth. Six feet under. Six feet under. Fuck you, DeWand. Rest in pieces, Was your daddy's name DeWand? Yeah, his name's DeWand. That makes no sense. I know. Don't think I don't know that. I came into this world, I said, what's my daddy's name, DeWand? No, thanks. And that, and you know, he was actually famous for being the first baby to talk out straight out the womb. Yep, came out, I said, what? What's going on? My daddy's name is DeWan. I had two little pistols blazing. I said, Everybody Pew. freaked out. He was kept in the hospital for studying for mm -hmm. a good year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Better part of a year. And that's the why better part. Right. Spring. Yeah. And that's why he was kept back in school. Mm -hmm. And that's how we met each other. That's exactly right. Because I am a year uh, older. Yep. Yep. And you were also kept back. I was kept back because so I'm You were kept back stupid. twice, and I was kept back one year because you're two years older than me. And I'm stupid. And we're, you're stupid as hell. I can't read. Nope. And I don't need to. Nope. When was the last time you tried to read? 
yesterday. And what happened? Honestly, that's yeah. a can of worms I don't think you're ready to open. You were trying to read a, read a can of worms? I was trying to read a can of worms. Really? I was going fishing with Eddie. Ooh, rest in peace. Double D? Mm-hmm. Double D. And I was trying rest to read peace, this can D. of worms. I said, look, Eddie, I know that we're the only two out here on this lake. Yeah. I'm going to read this can to you so that you know what you're doing as you set up our boat. Mm hmm I read that can of worms. You tried. Well, I read something. I did say something out right. loud. Right. You told Eddie some instructions. And it failed. Really? And now he's dead. Wow. He dry. He drowned. Who's that? Who's that? Who is that? Should we do? I do want to say real quick, just to make sure. You okay? Is that I'm, somebody coming in? I'm our okay. I fences? thought that Philly was getting loose. Man, that Philly. Go home. Go back to Philadelphia where you came from. We get all these Philly tourists coming on encroaching in our. All the way in New Mexico. On our space. We're just trying to be a good show, good at our job, which is watching horses. Yeah. We ain't trying to direct traffic. There are people for that. I know. Traffic directors. And horses. Yeah. And dogs. And dogs. Should we do a roll call of the horses really quick? Okay. I'll start, we got to do it at some point, yeah. We got to do it. We should do it earlier rather than later. Yeah, let's do it now. All right. All right. Here we I'm go. I'm just getting into my chips, my crinkle cut kettle chips. No kip. problem. You love your crinkle cut. Kettle chip. Crisp crinkle cut. Chris uh, Crinkle Cut. That's right. Chip. That's what you call it. They're my favorite. And you love them. I love them. We get you a nice bag every every shift. I get salt and cracked pepper. Yeah. The pepper's there for the vegetable. Mm hmm And the salt is there for the flavor. For taste. Yep. Let's do a little roll call of our horsies now in the fence in the in the pen. Who do we got? All right. Angel Dust. Nay. Perfect. <laughs> Did you just do a nay? It was me. Oh. <laughs> I Let got me you. try it. Let me see again. I got you. Angel Dust. <laughs> She's here. Rudolph. How's her nose? Okay. You uh, know that offends her. No, I'm sorry. I thought it was a, I thought it was a funny joke. I always think it's a funny joke. She doesn't like it. Spencer! <laughs> happy to have you, Spencer. Miss Julie? Mm. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh little dandy drop. Where's little dandy Where drop? Where is little dandy drop? Now I could have sworn I had her. I knew. Oh no. She is so Rudolph. Small. Rudolph. Rudolph is little dandy drop, buddy. Where is little dandy drop? If you're gonna be here and you have a task, a job, you gotta do it, Rudolph. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, that's one horse gone. Fuck you, Rudolph. Shit. We're not even four in and there are friggin' twenty horses. There are twenty. Let's, Let's get keep to going, the rest I of guess. Them. All right. All right, who got... we got? <laughs> I think you're, you can call the next one. Uh, can I? Sure. All right. Bundle. Bundle. Bundle's here, of course. Five o'clock, Shadow. <laughs> hey. See you, brother. See you, brother. Cherry Boy. Where is she? Cherry Boy. Where is she, Cherry Boy? Deli Whip. <laughs> oh, Deli Whip, there is. My mother's left shoe. Come on out. I always wonder who named that one because I do not like it. It was Eddie, so. Double D? Mm hmm Rest in peace, Double D. Rest in peace. Rest P. in peace, I guess. R.I.P.P. -P, double D. Uh, excuse me. Corrugated. Corrugated? You hear? Yep, yep. Yep, there Just he is. Just heard a faint. She's, she's a, a quiet one. She's all the way over there. <laughs> she's a quiet little yeah. one. That's yeah. okay. All right. We no, don't discriminate. Right. No. Against horses. As long as we can see you. As we long as we can hear you. We can see you. <laughs> you got it. Yep. We don't discriminate against, discriminate against horses. We discriminate against everyone else. Yeah. Philadelphians. Yeah. We hate Philadelphia. And that's about it. That's where the road ends there. Yeah. You come into our space, you're a Philly. Get out. Get out. Philadelphia, you here? <laughs> yeah. Got him. T-Rex. Big uh, horse. Oh, I hate T-Rex. I know, he's our least favorite horse. He does. Between you, us and you. Yeah, for y'all at home, T-Rex leaves shits bigger than your mama's left tit. And believe me, we've seen them. We've, we've seen, seen it. My we mother's left tit. I don't like to talk about it. Next horse. Mother's titty. <laughs> oh, yep. he's always here. Always. Up, up front and center. Mm. Mother's titty. Oh, he came right up and he knew he was next on the list. He knows. Glass ceiling. How you doing tonight, brother? There we are. Glass you stay, you never change. You never break, Glass Ceiling. You Glass never ceiling, break. For y'all just tuning in again. Again. Glass Ceiling. 
He's the oldest horse we got here. Mm -hmm. He has no hair mm -mm. on his body. Mm -hmm. It's Completely sick. hairless. That's why they call him glass ceiling. He can see through his freaking skin. Freaking brain. And see yeah. all of his veins. And we like him all right, but we like boy him. does he look at you with nothing going on in like his Like I eyes. said, we don't discriminate against horses. If, you, if your horse has alopecia, we let him have alopecia. You know what I mean? Pizza, 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 pizza. I could use a pizza pizza. I could use a pizza pizza. I wish there was any place nearby like All right, there's the one last horse left, Ezra. Why don't you call it out? Okay, fine. <clears throat> and this is the, so this is the thing about this last horse. They love a big to-do whenever we call them out. You know what I mean? We let love a big title. You don't gotta tell me twice. I know, I'll tell you once. I can't even think, remember what I just said. Here we go, drum roll please. Can my chip chewing be enough? Mm-hmm. Dandelion Frenzy, are you here? Dandelion Frenzy. Oh, of course. Of course they're here. And he's gonna dance around for yeah, 10 minutes because he said his damn name. Damn Dandelion Frenzy gets up at his hind hooves and he just dances around. That's against nature. We see you, Dandy. Yeah, we've seen you. Get on your whole four hooves, please. And quit it. Chopper, honestly, quit it. Honestly, that boy, I swear, his mom was too close with him. Oh, oh, that's a horrible story. You want to tell it? Yeah, so here's what happened. We came out one time for in that shift, thank you. Someone's gotta watch him, thank you again. Someone. We came outside, we saw Dandelion Frenzy and his mother who shall be, remain nameless. We don't talk about her with her proper name. They were just sucking on each other's legs and parts and just doing all sorts of weird close horse mother you son. never seen nothing like this in nature it, before no it you see national geographic no i asked the viewers i know you haven't seen it i haven't seen it either i've heard that it's a nature uh geographic yes i get it yeah okay so you do get it yeah it was worse than that. It was something like you've never seen in any no museum. It was unnatural geographic. It was exact. Woo boy! Exactly. <laughs> exactly, Buttercup. So those are the horses. Thank God we got them out of the way. We know they're all here they're except all for here. one. They're all here. Wait, who was missing again? I don't recall, but they're gone now. Did we count mayonnaise? Mayonnaise! Hey! Hold on. Give that horse whisk. Give that horse call that you're so good at doing. Oh, I'll be Let's right here. back. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. go see if Mayonnaise is over here. Yeah, go find Mayonnaise, please. So Mayonnaise is our newest horse. Uh, she uh, came into this world about three months ago, and uh, the reason she's called uh, Mayonnaise is because uh, uh, Buttercup and I were having our lunch, and you know Buttercup was having her favorite uh, lunch sandwich, which is. Bologna and mayonnaise. Bologna and mayonnaise, no bread. No bread. We go to the diner up the, the route here. She orders a sandwich, no bread. Waitress looks at her like, huh? What do you mean sandwich, no bread? Sandwich, no bread. Anyway, she was eating bologna and mayonnaise. And we already have a horse named Bologna, rest in peace. peace. And uh, so what's left is mayonnaise. Did you find her? Did you look for her? Shut up. Okay, no problem. She's gonna do another lap. She likes to do, she has to take the lay of the land a couple times, make sure anything she missed is on. Yeah, she just goes wherever she please. Where is she? Mary! Meow. 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 Nothing. You want me to go look? <sighs> Honestly, Ezra, if Manny's in here, what are you gonna? You and I are both out of a job. Shoot. But I can't seem to bring myself to really look for her. Yeah, you took a couple laps. What were you doing that whole time? I was looking for looking for mayonnaise. Yeah, but you say you weren't really looking, so what do you... Uh... I use my eyes, but you know I could use my feet to go further, but these hips have got me strapped Strip, down. Stripped, strapped, and stripped. And your eyes are going, too, if I don't... If I'm not mistaken. It's because we're out here in the dark <laughs> and you can't really see. You're straining your eyes for eight hours every I night. I know. So look. <sighs> of course my eyes are bad. So, you're right. I didn't mean to judge. I'm just saying, if mayonnaise ain't here, what do we do? Get another new horse and name it mayonnaise? Uh, and put it in the uh, rotation? Uh, uh, 
But at the same time, you can't get another horse with that weird splotch on its face. Yeah, it's got a weird splotch. It's like a big uh, green mole. It's a horse mole. I think, I think the vet did identify it as a mole, but as a layman, as they say, I would not know that that was a mole. No. How could you? How could I? And we took it to a vet. We took it to our, our well, town. Well, we filled out the paperwork to have Eddie take it to the vet. Yeah, and as you know, Eddie, first Eddie of all, waited a goddamn month to take it over there. Stupid. And then he died, so now no one's taking it in. It's that thing where you think that you have all the time in the world. Exactly. And then you wait till the last minute. Mm hmm And it's too late. It's like, oh, I blew it. Yeah, you blew it, Eddie. Eddie blows it all the time, and honestly, these horses' lives are at stake. Exactly. And I don't know how to tell him. <laughs> Eddie. That he needs to change his behavior. Rest in peace. It's because he has a drinking problem. He did. He drowned in the lake, drowned in the drink. Right. Yeah, you forget. Yeah. I forget he I, I would forget. <laughs> Shoot. You know when something really good happens and you just forget about it because you say, oh, <laughs> yeah. life is shit. And then later you're like, you know what, life isn't shit. Sometimes the shitty people die and life gets a little better. A little bit better. Exactly. My dad, Eddie, all those people, we don't need them no more. We're living our best life. You okay? Uh-oh. Now, okay. I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah, Eddie's dead. Yeah. That fucker. Now he died by, sorry, he died by accident, right? You said. Well, he got hit by a train. As he was trying to put the boat together for your excursion? Yeah. He got hit by a train? Yep. Damn! New train tracks right down the middle of the lake. <laughs> right through the lake. Hold your breath. Because it's going to get wet. And Eddie got wet. Oh. He's so wet, he's sleeping with the fishes. We're better for it? Fuck them. You know what we should do? What? I love this. I love when you get ideas, Buttercup. I think, Ezra, yeah. the people at home mm -hmm. would enjoy mm -hmm. a sing-along. Oh. Oh. You're right. They would. You're not wrong. Okay. Should All we right. do? Now, we just As do... always, I'll be percussion. Great. And I'll be, uh, I'll be the bottle. Please do. Yep. And We're make sure sing the pitch it. is right, though. Hold on one sec. How much you got left in there? I got about uh, a little less than half. Checks out. Mm. Perfect. That's exactly right. I know. All right, now, ready? look, y'all at home, we've been talking a lot about death, uh, a lot about mayonnaise, mm -hmm. which, by the way, I don't want to think about anymore. Cause... The horse or the condiment? Oh, well, the horse. Mm -hmm. What's a condiment? Uh, I've heard it's what you call, what we call mayonnaise. I've heard there, it, that is the name for it. I read it in a National Geographic. My chair is squeaking like you wouldn't believe, and I think that'll be okay. You okay? All right. I got an itch in my nose. We're trying to lighten the spirits. Is that All right, what we're lighten the spirits. That's right. I think I have to sneeze. Okay. Look at the moon. That's what they always say. Mm-hmm. I don't have to sneeze anymore. Perfect. You have to. Yep. You, you ever have to? God bless you. Thank you. You ever have to sneeze, and you rub your nose, and then you smell peanut butter? Never. That is. Literally never happened to me. Every single day of really? my life. You don't say. I, that's real. You do. And you smell peanut butter? <gasps> Here's something that happens to me for real. Is when I hit my nose, you know when you you clock it, you bump it into something? I guess. Early? Yeah, something happens. You bump your nose. Sure. I smell chlorine like in a pool. That ever happened to you? That's real. <laughs> I've heard that's a sign of brain cancer. Is that true? We are learning a lot about each other, about science, Is and that about real? life. Did you really I don't know. That? Moving on, let's sing a song. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Watching the horses late at night. Wait up. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. I, that was wrong. You want to start over? Let's start over. Let's start over. All right. Remember the lyrics? Of course. Yeah. You Here we go. Watching the horses late at night. Mm -hmm. What was that? Give me a fright. Second star, second star to the right. Oh. No, that, no, no. I'll go first. Let me say that. Perfect. Category is? Ready? The song. <laughs> Watching the horses late at night. Second star, second star to the right. Watching the horses late at night. Where is my mama? She don't 
no, right? Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? We're in New Mexico We're watching in the horses. We're here in Mexico, not Mexico that you know about. We're New in Mexico. Mexico. New Mexico. Mexico. We're <laughs> New Mexico. Perfect. Now, we did rehearse that, and that's exactly how we wanted it. You okay? She never plays the bottle, so she sees the bottle, she's like, how do I, what do I, where do I put it? Do you want to try playing the bottle this time, and I'll do the percussion? All right. Here we go. <laughs> that's okay. We'll do, we'll, we'll have that next time for you. We, we do have to practice. We do, we do got to rehearse a little bit. You okay? You put it right here. Perfect. Right oh, here. good idea. Yeah, good thank idea. You. Not in the chip bag. Not in the chip bag. You know no, I gotta sir. have my salt and crack pepper. Crack pepper. That pepper's like crack. All right, now's the time of the night where we all get together and talk about our deepest fears. We all, two of us, get together. We ask the horses to contribute, and they say. Uh, I'll go for. Do you want to go first this time? No, you can go first. I'll Ezra. go first this time. I'll let you go first, buddy. Hello. So here's how you don't have to do say it. hello. They know, know you're here. But I like, he gets nervous when we start talking about fears. Fears. So here's what I like wonder to say. why. I like to say, hello. My name is Ezra. Hi, Ezra. And my biggest fear is finding, finding myself, myself com completely, completely naked, naked in a barrel, in a barrel. floating down a river down towards, towards a, a waterfall. waterfall. He told me this before. I did. I did. Before it started rolling, I said, hey, I do take a little way, pride in knowing all you do know. circus yeah. fears. Oh, what? You had a little spurt there. Your, your, uh, your beverage. That's oh. okay. It's all what? right. Where? Just in know, there. Over there. Ah. Oh, no. That's okay. Oh, you got those no. pants laundered. We'll get, we'll get, a uh, we'll get, a uh, Daisy Duke or whatever the horse's name is. Spit on, you know, we'll make it clean it up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mm. She... Mm. Can we cut? We can't cut. Mm, we can't cut. Are you we'll okay? We'll cut later. Okay. I think I, I think I have a bigger problem than I thought. Oh no! Mm. Don't tell me it's a, mm. it's a downstairs problem. Every time, every time we roll, we do the show. You always have some sort of, yeah. Oh God, I can, I can smell. Go ahead. Go ahead with your deepest. I just said my deepest fear. You it don't want to be naked turn. in a barrel floating, down, floating a down a waterfall. Biggest fear. I get even chills just chill, freaking thinking about it. Do you want to say where yours? does that come from? Uh, when I was uh, a young <laughs> boy, uh, I would go to the creek. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my daddy, rest in pieces, would take me to the creek to fish with our bare hands. And you know what I mean by that. Right? <laughs> I you think it's it. pretty self-explanatory. Pretty like a berry diamond, you grab it with your hair. We get it. Chop it. Yeah. So that happened. And I saw this fish in a barrel. You know the phrase, like shooting fish in a barrel? That's what we were doing. Oh. We were putting barrels, scooping up fishes, and then <laughs> shooting them. And uh -huh. we were in this creek, and it went to a waterfall, and this fish was in a barrel. We missed the shot. We didn't get it. And it went. <laughs> And it, dra it, 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 it drowned in the air, because it's a fish. So the barrel kept it above water, and it <laughs> And it died. And I saw it die right before it went over the waterfall. So Been from then there. on, I was like, never again do I want to. Been there. Have you? Yeah. Now tell me about that, before well, you get to your biggest fear, of course. Well, you heard of the phrase metaphorically? No. It's where you think you've been there, but then you think, Maybe it was just a dream. Mm-hmm. You had a dream that you were a fish in a barrel? Maybe. Who's to say? My deepest, darkest fear. Let's hear it. And you told me this before we shot too, but go ahead. Is waking up. Waking up. To your mama. To your mama. Mm-hmm. In the bed in next bed to you. Next to you. Ugh. Cold as ice. Cold as ice. Just frigid. Because as y'all know, mm -hmm. my mom and I share mm -hmm. a twin-size bed. Because mm -hmm. we don't have the money to buy something else. No. And who cares? She's my mama. She's part of my DNA. Yeah, of course. We you love each other. Mama? You cuddle with your mama? Who says you can't cuddle with your mama? If you're not cuddling with your mama, you're doing life wrong. You're doing it wrong. Bitch, I'll say it. And every morning I wake up and I... <laughs> I'm oh, no. so afraid of... I'm so afraid of waking up and her being... Cold as ice that I wake up and I say, Mama, wake up! 
And she she always wakes up and like says, normal. She says, Buttercup again? Yeah. Again, you do not have to wake me up like not that. Not necessary. It's, it is uncomfortable for me. It makes me upset and is not a good way to start my day. No, it's a bad way to start your day. So we, uh, we're looking into what insurances will cover the local therapist. Mm -hmm. Apparently, that is something that is available to me. Yeah. Little did I know. Little did you know. I didn't know that. And so I'm working on it. I'm working just, on it. I just want to clarify. <laughs> your fear is waking up, and you said your mom being in the bed next to you. Do you mean in the same bed next to you or in a different bed, like you're waking up in a different and there's no. a new bed? No, we're in, we sleep together in the same in twin the same bed. bed. I'm afraid of waking up and her and she being dead. Cold and dead. Yeah. Next to you in the same bed. Yeah, that's yeah. what cold as ice means. I never, no. But I get it. I just wanted to clarify, make sure you didn't have two different beds. Cause last I heard you had the same. No, we got one bed. Bed. I hope that never happens to you. God rest your soul eventually. But well, how old is your mama now? 52. Mm-hmm. She's, she's getting to that age where I'm just like, how much longer? Is this the last Christmas? I don't know. Oh, uh, last Christmas, we had a... Last we, Christmas, I gave you my heart. Mm-hmm. The very next day? She gave it away. I gave it away. Spoiler said, alert. It was a mistake. This. I was drunk. <laughs> she cut and out her heart. When she was drunk? I, now I have a horse heart. Horse heart. Bigger than we thought. A little too big. A little bit too big. They had to remove a couple ribs. It does cause a bit of anxiety because I feel so overwhelmed all the time, and I think that might be contributing to my mama fear. Sure. And if you're late somewhere, you'll gallop on all fours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I go to court all the time. They say yay or nay, and I'm constantly going, nay. How is that going, by the way? What? Your court? Being a horse in court? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Being a horse court. Well, it's confusing everybody because they keep saying nay. And sometimes I mean yay. Mm hmm But she can't help it. She's got a horse heart. I have a horse heart. And I got a horse brain, and that's just kind of how we, that's why we're the perfect people for this job. The night shift. Somebody's got to watch them. Somebody's got to watch them. It's us. Yeah. I think I just saw mayonnaise over there. Really? Yeah. No. She that must mayonnaise? be. Yeah. There she is. That looks there just she is. like her. There she is. Mayonnaise, you <laughs> stupid bitch. Where you been? We are Fucking all the big you fat out. man horses. Yeah. What are you, fucking man horse? Why does Mamie's look so shocked like she doesn't know she's a little bitch? You get out. Right. Yeah, no problem. Jeez, that was a Philly. I just saw one. Oh, what, a person from Philadelphia? A tourist from Philly, yep. Just sneaking around over there. So like. what happened was, now, y'all, we don't have much time left here tonight, but I will say. We'll say this. New Mexico, mm. our little area, mm -hmm. put out an ad to visit New Mexico. It had some uh, pictures of horses, pictures of people. It was mostly pictures of music, horses. Music, music, etc. cetera. Mm -hmm. Accidentally got aired in Philadelphia. Philly, just all the newspapers printed. So literally everybody from Philadelphia coming down here thinking they can vacation. We're up to our goddamn ears. There ain't nothing to see here, horses, so it's our job now to entertain these Yankees? Yeah. Philly Yankees? Philly Yankees? Philadelphia. Ah, ah, Philly Yankees? Ah, I don't think so. No. Get out. Get out. You leave us be. Now what? What is man? What was Manny's doing a second ago? She was touching herself. Is it time to be? Are yeah, we it's done? time to go. Yeah. Look, y'all. Thank you for ch tuning in once again to the night shift. Parentheses. Someone's got to watch them. Close parentheses. I've been Buttercup. And I've been Ezra. We'll see ya. I guess. You gotta turn it off tomorrow night. Yeah. You wanna turn it off? You should I go turn it off? You are already halfway up. Could you reach under my butt and just push yeah, it upwards towards Give the sky? Yeah, of course I can. Give me a little sky. bit. There we go. Okay. And we just get, oh. and then we get perfectly in Thank there. Thank you. You got it. Perfect. All right. Oh, no. Okay. All right, I'll turn it off. Okay, I'm trying to get up. Oh, God, I can't. I can't. I got it. I can't. I'm down now. I'm down. Now you I'm okay? down. You okay? Um, nope. Yeah, I like it down here. All right. Good night, everybody. <laughs>